Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. My name is Jade, and this is How to Wrap on iOS. And in this episode, we're going to be taking a look at... Bubbles, 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 bubbles. <laughs> but first, we're going to have a listen to one of the cool artists from around this amazing YouTube community, Tremor Bear. This is not going anywhere. Afternoon, hello, evening, whatever it is. That was Tremor Bear and who are those weirdos he had in a video clip? What a bunch of weirdos. <laughs> Not going anywhere by Tremor Bear. There's a pinned comment up the top of the chat where you can go and check out Tremor Bear and go and listen to his music and go and subscribe to him. And um, I, <laughs> it's funny, we watched that video clip yesterday, yeah? And it's like me... Me, Pete, Ron, Thomas, we're all in slow motion and then it gets to Hippie and he's all really fast. It's like the complete opposite of reality, yeah? The total reality warp there because uh, <laughs> Hippie's the slow-talking one of us all. And we're all. The rest of us, we're all fast talkers. But uh, Hippie has been like sped up. I might try watching Hippie at double speed and see what that's like. I wonder what it's like. Boom, 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 boom. Right on. Hi, Jeff, if you're watching. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Uh, my name's Jade. This is How to App on iOS. And we take a look at apps and all this groovy stuff every day. Fun and frivolity for all. If you're a Ward Warrior, welcome aboard. For a dollar a month, you can become a Ward Warrior. Custom emojis and all this kind of fun stuff. And, uh, and all that. Let's say hello to you all. Thanks for those of you who've come across from the last stream. And uh, for those of you watching on the replay. Hello to you too. There you go. There's the link. If you want to become a war warrior, we're, we're getting up there. We're nearly at 70 members. It's Thank you. That's really, really awesome. Thank you so much. I think our newest member was, um, newest member was Howling Fret Fumbler. So welcome aboard Howling Fret Fumbler. Hello, Joe. Hello, Thomas. Hello, Deep Gravity. 
Hello, Lou Reality. Hello, Mateus. Hello, Many Vibes. Happy Valentine's Day. It is Valentine's Day for the rest of you outside of Australia and uh, Asia and New Zealand. We've already had it. Wasn't much chop. Let me tell you that. Um, the Semtex Cow, hello to you. Audible video, what's going on? Uh, <laughs> Cold Acre, as always. Always a pleasure, never a chore, unless it is. Gregory O'Sullivan, hello to you. Kim Harden Hudson, hello. Uh, who else is here? I've had way too many coffees. Two. Two coffees, not good for me, trust me. Bad, bad thing. Bad thing. Today, we are having a look at an app called Things Bubbles. It's all things that are bubbles. And it's made by Audio Thing, and they make really, really cool apps. And I've recently, there's been a whole lot of their apps that I've been uh, covering over the last month because they originally were a desktop developer with a huge catalog of, uh, of, of apps. And they really just got into the iOS game and they're just smashing it, yeah? They're just releasing banger after banger after banger after banger. Some of them are a little bit pricey because they're, they're quite complex and stuff. This one today I can report is a little bit cheaper. This is Bubbles. It is $2.99 on the App Store, so nice and cheap. I'm not sure if that is an introductory price. Guess what it is. And the uh, introductory price finishes on the 24th of February. So there's that. So you can get it now for $2.99. Nice and cheap. No worries there. As I said, this is a desktop app. It has come from the desktop. So at audiothing.net, you can find it here. And if you you know have a, a Mac or a PC, guess what? It's on sale at the moment for only $9. That's pretty good. $9 US, normally worth $19. So again, uh, more expensive on the desktop, but it is a one-to-one -one conversion. You're not missing out on anything with this app. But what is it? What is this app? It's interesting because this is a 10-band filter bank. This takes... This adds filters, multiple filters up to 10, and then it, you can add delays to each filter and there's randomization and it, trust me, it sounds like bubbles. It really does sound like bubbles. Um, really good for things like percussion and, and beats and plucky sounds. Yeah, nice plucky sounds. Yes, audible video, comb filters, comb filters. I wish I could run a comb through my dreadlocks, but I can't because they stink. Anyway, um, so yeah, this is uh, multiple comb filters. I've got a project here and it's going to work this time, isn't it? Yes. So we've got uh, two instances of a Euclidean running over here and a scalar. And uh, we've got uh, a copperhead, a pure piano, and we have a, a copy of Trooper plus just a simple drum beat over here with hammerhead nice and simple so but it's <laughs> this is a weird piece of music i've created i have no idea i made this last night on my ipad laying in bed so good luck i hope it sounds all right <laughs> shall we just hit play and see what happens Thank you. 
So what the bloody hell does this thing do? And how does it work? <laughs> Hello, Tremor Bear. It is the second show for today. Uh, yes, and we've opened with your track. All right, so I'm going to break this down. We're going to stop this, and I'm going to keep it nice and simple today to show you how this all works. Let's clear this project out of here, and we'll start with a MIDI track. You're an AUM and an audio track. And we're going to use something like Octacron for this, I'd say. Let's use Octacron and maybe SDS. What do you think? SDS, drums. And we're going to connect to these two. So over here is our MIDI controller. This is where the drum patterns, the sequencing will be made in Octacron. And we'll send these sequences over to SDS. So we'll send this over to SDS. And we'll just start with some simple kicks. Maybe. Uh, do I have to go? I think I have to go in here and change uh, the settings in here to, oh, I can't remember how to do it. Um, so in host, destinations, uh, God, how do I do this? I've forgotten how, receive MIDI, so it should be working. Ah, oh, I've got to go in here and set this to load uh, SDS. Let's do that. There we go. So just a simple beat, but let's bring this down to about 80. And we'll add in an extra. There we go. So this is nice and clear. And we'll throw in bubbles and then we can run through what all the controls do. Now, as I said, uh, so these are comb filters and uh, you can see at the moment, we've got one comb filter here. Uh, first, I'll just go across the top actually. Start at the beginning. Here are all our presets. So you've got a nice selection of presets to play with, which we will cover. You can save a preset with your disc icon there. You can delete. You've got a randomization, which we'll cover soon. You can lock this. So when you hit lock, nothing can be pressed here. So, so you can't mess anything up. We've got some global settings here. We can clear the buffer. Uh, we've got uh, a hard clip and a soft clip. Yeah. Um, let's go back over here. So that's host playback at the moment. We can lock all parameters. Unlock parameters is a manual. You can copy paste. So we can actually copy to clipboard or paste from clipboard. There's a little about thing. And you can turn this sound off anytime you want. So you can hear straight away, as soon as we turn it on, that sound changes because we have one filter running here. And here's the controls for our filter. We have a cutoff. We have a spread, so we can spread that cutoff. We have a resonance. And a spread for the resonance. Now, as we add more of these filters, You'll hear, so here's our bubbles, and we can go up to 10 here with our, our bubbles. And you can see as we go up, it adds more bubbles into the mix. And each of these are another filter.
crazy loud. <laughs> You can see you can really shape some really interesting sounds with this, but where it gets super interesting, so I've got the mix here, so we can get a mix of these filtered sounds with the original sound. Again, when we turn this off, But where this gets really interesting is with the delays. So we have these delays here and you can lock the delay to your metronome, right? So we're currently at 80 and to lock the sync it up, you just click this little note and you can now you can hear, we've got some delay happening between these filters. So when I move, and this is your off on switch for the delays. We have a stereo delay by clicking. So when it's a full circle here, as you can see, that's a mono. And now we're in stereo. So you can hear we've got, we're ping ponging back and forth there. And now let's mess with the time because our time for our delays are now synced to the MIDI, to the clock. And now we can spread with this spread button uh, dial. We can spread these delays out. But what we want to do is utilize the feedback because this is where we're going to get. really interesting sounds and if we bring in the mix now we've currently got nine bubbles set here let's bring it down to two nice about this is you can get some really interesting syncopated sounds Let's add a few more bubbles. So here's what's interesting. With our delays down here and our spreads, you can see when they're in the middle, it's at zero. So when we turn them to the left, 
we're sending things this way. See how these bubbles are moving along to the left? If we start pulling this back into the minus, you can see these bubbles are going backwards now. Nice stereo delays happening. Let's give it some more bubbles, shall we? So you can hear that rhythm. We'll give it six bubbles. And when we unlock our little note here, now our time is free. Let's go through some presets, shall we? Now you're probably starting to hear where we're getting the bubbles from. You can see uh, this one's going backwards. So we're popping out backwards here.
How wicked's that? If we turn that off, This is really beautiful for really subtle beats. Nice, with a drone over this would be really nice. Let's add a stereo delay to this. If you've got headphones on. <laughs> That's messing with my brain. I like this one. Let's add in some kind of guitar or something, yeah? We'll use, um,
Seems that we just did a show previously using magma. Let's throw this in here as well.
<laughs> that was fun. <laughs> there you go. Yeah? Uh, what a cool app, hey? Just to take a bunch of random things and uh, just go all over the place. That was really fun. I haven't done that in a while. Just had a, a, a crazy jam and just throw things in and see what happens. Not all of it was perfect, but you know what? That's okay. Life ain't perfect. Life is uh, a collection of mistakes that eventually you stop making. <laughs> so that is Bubbles, Things Bubbles by uh, Audio Thing, another fantastic app by Audio Thing. We had a little bit of Magma in there. What were some of the apps we used? We used uh, Euclidean, Octocron, SDS Drums. All these I've covered. Uh, we got over here Sample Tank with the acoustic guitar in there. Bit of voice, Mononoke. Uh, we got the Trooper. Beat Cutter was in there at the end. We've got a bit of Perforator in here too to create some rhythmic sounds for that uh, Mononoke. And uh, good fun. I uh, hope you really enjoyed that. Thanks, Kim. Thanks, everybody, for hanging out. And, uh, yeah, really, really interesting app. Again, so many great sound design apps we have coming out that are just really popping, man. Yeah, it does pop up, Pete, the king of the puns. We're going to have to call you Quadruple P now. Pete, part, party, Pete, popping puns. Punk, five piece. <laughs> I know, Thomas, it just... See, that's what happens when you have kids. <laughs> you become a stand-up genius like Pete Johns. Uh, thank you all for hanging out with me today. And, uh, yeah, check out the app. Remember, apps aren't Pokemon. You don't need them all. But if you found this one interesting, you think it can add to the kind of music that you make, support the developer. Buy an app from them. Make something. And then email me and let me know you made something and I can open the show with one of your songs, you know? So, Peter's just dropped a link in here. Grab a sneak peek of the demo mix of Pete's song with me on drums, uh, the punk rock demo in GarageBand. It still doesn't have a name yet, Pete. There's the link. Click on that link. He's, he, I think he's just dropped it or he's about to drop it. Uh, go and do that to do all the things. Tomorrow, guys, I'll let you know what's happening here on the show. We have coming up, hopefully, I, I we'll, we'll see what happens. It depends on how I feel and what, what happens during the day uh, today. So we are doing, I can't even find it. I can't find the, the link to what we're doing tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow. Where are we? Uh, it's been that long. End track. We're doing end track studio. Number four tomorrow is episode three. Episode four, there it is. There you go. Episode four tomorrow of the Kindercore track using N-Track Studio. This may not be the last episode. Uh, it may go for an extra one. And uh, we'll just try and get everything together tomorrow, show all the vocals and guitars and everything. And then we'll come back maybe next week and do the mixing and mastering. And then... I'll give you my overall opinion of my experience using N-Track Studio for the first time, giving it a go, trying to make a song with it, and you can take away what you get from my experience. But remember, my experience may not be the same as yours. It all depends on the music you make and all that jazz. So that's happening tomorrow, and I can let you know as well that we have a, a cool interview happening this week. As well at the end of uh, so Thursday, if you're in the US or the UK, with John Paul Music UK. He is a master of the loops, and we will have him on here. Not, not to really talk about looping, more so to talk about his music and how he got into music and all of that stuff. And that's sponsored by DistroKid. And of course, on the weekend, I will be continuing part uh, two of my live performances of my forthcoming album, Nonconformist. We're up to track eight out of 22. So hopefully you can come and join me for that. Anyway, as usual, folks, do the things that make you happy. Mistakes make you better. And remember, we'll all rise together. Thank you all for being here today. Do it. We'll all rise together. Cause you make me shine better And we'll all rise
eyes together You make me shine better